So, Fern, if you had to pick one festival to go to this year, which would it be and why? Hopefully I'll go to the Isle of Wight again, because I love that festival. Um, Reading and Leeds was great last year, so I'm hoping to go to that again. Obviously, no Glastonbury this year. Um, so I would say Isle of Wight is one that's definitely on the list for this summer for me. OK, brilliant. Why are the Isle of Wight? Um, it's a really lovely festival. It's not too big, so you can get around really easily. It's a really good um, family festival. It's really friendly. The lineup's always amazing. And I've had about three, four good years there now. Um, so I'd love to go back. Excellent. And what is your kind of ideal festival outfit? You've got to be comfy. Um, I can't bear the thought of having to sort of trot around in a wedge or anything at a festival or something uncomfortable. Um, so layering because the weather changes non-stop. So probably um, a little pair of shorts or cut-off jeans and then a vest and a t-shirt and maybe a little cardi throw and a little scarf or something. Just so you can kind of peel layers off, put jackets around your waist and just be nice and comfy really. And so what are your three essential items for a festival? A good pair of like black lace-up boots that you don't mind getting muddy because that's more comfy than wellies and if it's really hot you're not going to sweat so they're really good. Um, a pair of sort of slouchy socks that you can have up over your knee if it's cold or slouch down. Ah. I love a sock. A good little kind of anorak, so not necessarily um, a PVC one, maybe like a waxy one um, with a hood. So again, if it's rainy, you can pop it up, but it's nice and light and you can throw it in your bag if it gets too warm. So they're the three things I would say good to take to festivals. Have you ever had any festival disasters? I've had absolutely millions, um, so many. I've been to festivals where like at V one year, it was about a million degrees, and I was sweating in my tent. Uh, the next day, there was kind of condensation over everything, so there was four of us in a tiny two-man tent. It was vile. Uh, everything stank. It was disgusting. At Coachella, again, a very sweaty experience. Wore too many clothes, tried to dress up and look a bit glam for the whole LA set. Makeup running down my face. So every year is a slight disaster. And what's your favourite ever festival memory? Um, I'd say Coachella is definitely a memorable festival because it's one that you don't get to really go to every year and uh, Daft Punk in the dance tent were just incredible headlining and me and my friends just dancing, bouncing off the walls, it was amazing. Um, but again, like this year, Glastonbury, seeing Coldplay was a beautiful experience. Mm -hmm. Um, so, yeah, I've got loads of, of lovely festival memories over the years, but yeah, Coachella's always a good one. There you go, and you should advise people who haven't been to a festival before to check it out, right? Definitely. I mean, it's quite a journey. It's, you know, fly to LA and it's not the cheapest thing to do, but once in a lifetime opportunity, if you can go, definitely give it a try because it's a really good one. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Those Thank are Fern's you. festival tips for very.